So in the last bull run, there were some really interesting layer one projects whose names had not yet reached mainstream narrative. They included cryptos like Polygon, Solana, Avalanche, and even Cardano would have blown your purse apart if you got in early enough. So in our search for new layer one crypto technology that has a 100x potential in the next bull cycle, we came across this incredible little token with insane technology, an amazing crunchy narrative, and an all-star team that's still at about a hundred million dollar market cap. And of course, it's Casper with a K. And so I went through the Casper technology papers, the founder explanations, the roadmap, the tokenomic structure to save you the hours to decide whether you want to invest your time, money, or energy into a project like this. All I ask in return is you hit that like button down below for me, put on your block dag hat, and let's jump in. So Casper's mission to put as simply as possible is to become the number one peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. Now, if that motive sounds familiar, it's because it was Bitcoin's original motivation. However, Casper and a lot of other people have thought that Bitcoin has become more like a gold and a lot less like cash. People hold it for a store of value where Casper, they wanna become the digital silver, which in its original translation of Aramaic, silver is Casper. And this is because silver was historically treated as less precious than gold, but way more circular and therefore way more widely accepted as payment. So put as simply as possible, Bitcoin wants to be the gold, the store of value, and Casper are using the Bitcoin framework to become the peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system that will be silver. And the founder of Casper, Jonathan Sompolinski, started gaining reputation within the cryptocurrency academic circle way back in 2013 when him and Professor Zohar conceived the Ghost Protocol, which is the foundations of the block DAG that they're currently using with Casper. Now this protocol is actually famous for being originally cited in the Ethereum white paper way back in 2013, as Vitalik Buterin actually referenced it as a design goal. But more on that later in the video. They also have a guy called Zhao Yang as an advisor to their company. Now Zhao has a pretty insane resume too. He co-created Farmville, was the co-creator of My Mini Life Inc, which sold to Zinger Games and became the common technology platform powering 150 million monthly users. And another incredible team member worth mentioning is this guy. Shai Waborski. He's a Casper researcher and one of the authors of the original Ghost Dag paper. Shai is a PhD candidate in the Hebrew University and Ben Gurion University where he researches classical and quantum cryptography. Yes, quantum cryptography. That's a topic way beyond me and the scope of this video. So we'll just give Shai the head nod and we'll move along. So I don't know about you, but I can confidently say that this team is one of the best that I've ever seen. But their mission is probably one of the most ambitious. So can they pull this off using the technology that they develop? Well, first things first, we need to know if Casper can solve the blockchain trilemma. And if you don't know what the blockchain trilemma is, you really should. Vitalik actually originally coined the term blockchain trilemma when he was talking about the scaling limitations of the Ethereum blockchain. And Vitalik has repeatedly said that the crypto project that solves this trilemma will win. We wanna know which one of these tokens is gonna to solve this trilemma first. The trilemma states, blockchains are currently forced to make trade-offs that prevent them from integrating all three of the following characteristics to become the perfect blockchain. One, decentralization. Creating a blockchain system that does not rely on the central point of control. That would be the antithesis of cryptocurrency. Two, scalable. The ability for a blockchain system to handle an increasingly growing amount of transactions. This is Bitcoin's problem and why Casper's here to solve the actual scalability problem and therefore become the electronic cash system. And three, security. The ability of the blockchain system to operate as expected, defend itself from attacks, bugs, and other unforeseen issues. Because if you can just hack the blockchain, it's no good. So how is Casper solving for all three of these factors in the blockchain trilemma? Well, we know that Casper were the original founders of the Ghost DAG, proof of work consensus protocol that incorporates orphan blocks into the chain to form this block DAG. Casper then used a novel greedy algorithm to order the blocks such that well-connected, honest blocks are favored quickly and with high probability. And this leads to the following outcomes with the blockchain trilemma. Number one, fast confirmations. This allows Casper to have extremely fast confirmation times, making it a really fast blockchain. Casper's consensus layer fast block rate decreases the variance of mining income, which decreases the incentive to join mining pools contributing to the most decentralization possible on their block DAG. Casper's also solve scalability because their consensus layer removes security as a bottleneck for high throughput, allowing block rate and block size increase up to what the network can handle. And of course, the Casper network is aiming to be highly secure. This is because they use a fast first confirmation, which enables use cases that need immediate proof of publication, but not immediate irreversibility. And the result of all of this really awesome technology leads to the world's fastest proof of work blockchain in Casper. Casper. That's a pretty impressive title. And this is because it uses a block DAG structure as opposed to the traditional blockchain structure. And as you can see, this gives it horizontal scaling opportunities 
which are still highly secure because each of these blocks are cryptographically hashed to one another. Now to make Casper even faster, they're actually switching over to a Rust infrastructure, which has been tested on the testnet and has already proven that it'll increase its capacity even more. Now technology and team, both fantastic. But if you follow us here on YouTube, you'll know that we're a fan of something way more important crunchy narratives. Because Casper's incredible team, their impressive infrastructure, amazing speeds, and success so far means absolutely nothing compared to how Casper will be perceived by mainstream crypto influencers. I mean, if a copycat animal-based meme token can consistently reach the billion dollar valuation with a simple narrative like, the next Bitcoin or Elon Musk loves this token, well, it's going to be very important to see how Casper is gonna be summarized on Twitter and in Discord boards around the world. And fortunately, I think Casper passes this test with flying color. And the narrative that, wow, this token Casper was mentioned in the Ethereum white paper, I think is pretty damn crunchy. And if I'm wrong, I'm curious to see which narratives pick up ahead of this one. They must be pretty damn crunchy themselves. And if you're actually interested in going deeper into narrative analysis and use what we call a social insurance policy to minimize the downsides and maximize the upsides in your crypto trading, you might love our Patreon. We track the biggest crypto influencer wallets in order to see what they're buying as soon as they buy it, consider getting in ourselves before it's shielded to their millions of followers. We also have rising token breakdowns, an incredible community, and cheat sheets designed to help you identify promising new projects without spending hours or days researching. In fact, Here's us analyzing Casper a few months ago when the price is a quarter of what it is now. So if you wanna get ahead of the mainstream and join the pioneers of Web3 on the cutting edge of this technology, I'll leave the link in the description below. And for everybody else, keep enjoying the free stuff. Now, another aspect of Casper, which I really love, it's a pure proof of work digital asset. While many projects are moving away from decentralization in order to scale and operate faster, Casper has persevered to solve these scalability and speed issues with a truly decentralized system. This is really impressive. Decentralization is the heart of all cryptocurrencies, free from the manipulation of central entities and large stakeholders. Casper's algorithm is very efficient, core heavy algorithm that allows high hashing power per watt. And it's also amenable to a future optical mining systems, which have the potential to utilize even less energy. Now, Casper has so many awesome features, we could talk about it for hours, but I'm gonna do a speed round and list some of my favorite features as quickly as possible. Firstly, they're currently working on a ledger integration. Secondly, they were fair launched after years of development without any pre-mining, they're a community project and completely open source without any centralized governance. Thirdly, the team are super focused on product. They're not about the hype train and they publicly stated that they have no desire to be listed on exchanges unless they are a top 10 exchange. The token was also launched in June, 2022. And despite it 4Xing while FTX was crashing and all other tokens were coming down, this Casper token is yet to see a true bull run. Casper's native token is KAS and the value of CAS at the time of this recording is just over half a cent. CAS has a circulating market cap of $95 million, which is 57% of their 166 million fully diluted market cap as only 16 billion out of 28 billion tokens are currently in circulation. The all-time high of Casper was just under one cent in November 22, which gave it a market cap of 142 million. Cas, as we just discussed, was launched in the middle of 22 with no pre-mine via a fair launch, which once again bodes very well for the morals and ethics and future developments of this project. Now, if there's a crypto token that isn't fully diluted yet and you don't know its vesting schedule, you could find yourself in a lot of trouble. And Casper's emission schedule halves once per year via smooth monthly reductions by a factor of half to the power of a 12. Which, if you have no idea what that means, just like me, this is what it looks like when plotted to a graph over time. And at the time of recording this video, we are currently right here on the graph. Now, you also have to be careful in crypto because you could come across an incredibly awesome project with a great team, great technology, but the token may have almost zero utility or nothing to do with the future success of that token. It's not always like a stock that's going to underpin the company's asset. So what are the use cases of the Casper token? Well, Casper, once again, is a layer one token that aims to become a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system that the entire world uses as a currency. If they can do that, they have pretty good use case. Casper will also be used for gas fees to reward nodes and incentivize community funded activity. Because I've been tooting Casper's horn this whole video, I wanna get into the concerns around Casper. The first is really the same for any blockchain. It could just be hacked or exploited in some way, just like Harmony One and crashed to zero. There's also a few other tokens that we've actually talked about here on this channel and inside the Patreon that are currently trying to solve this blockchain trilemma and Casper's narrative could just get drowned out with the dozens of other tokens that are also going for it. And Craig Wright is also trying to solve the peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system in the original vision of Satoshi with his coin BSV, 
Bitcoin Satoshi vision. So even though Casper has an awesome narratives and some really awesome technology, there's a lot of other projects out there that also do. So what are my personal thoughts after making this video on Casper? Well, put simply in a bull run, I think Casper is going to do incredibly well. Why? Because it's already shown in not a bull run that it has legs. And when it starts to run, you hear the murmurs on Twitter and in the discords that people are starting to catch on to this narrative. Just like the 400% return that it saw while everything else was crashing. Being cited in the Ethereum white paper, I think is just a huge bonus for this protocol, at least in the short term, where in the long term, like all of these assets, they need to focus on product, they need to focus on the actual infrastructure in order to win. But sometimes we don't have time for that. And we just want the 100x returns when the next bull market comes. And I think Casper is a fan fantastic contender for that. Especially considering it's only at a $100 million market cap and Cardano hit a $94 billion market cap in the last bull cycle. So to think that Casper can't get to even a $1 billion market cap would be very surprising for myself. We'll be posting the full analytical breakdown of Casper inside of our Patreon and please do not put more money than you can afford to lose in any token, even Casper, because investing in crypto won't make you rich. We're only going to make rich people even richer. So make sure you're focusing on building long-term sustainable assets as well as dabbling in crypto. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.